Hey everybody, it's Lynn Pratt. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really simple tutorial on making a nighttime sky with some constellations and a quote in the middle. Now you can get all this download and everything so you can get this exact quote if you want on my online school. However, you're e you can easily make up any quote that you want in the middle of this. So this is a great simple practice tutorial that will help you control your masking fluid. So we're going to start off by masking off all of the constellations as well as the text in the center. So what I'm using my masking fluid, I'm actually using a Q-tip and I've just cut the end off at an angle. So I have one side of the Q-tip and I've cut the other end at an angle so that I have that nice point. And then I can put my my masking fluid on in small areas without a problem with a lot of control. When I build up some on the end I just take my paper napkin and wipe it off a little bit. After a little while it'll get too gunky and I'll just have to switch out to another q-tip or just cut the other end off the same q-tip. So I'm just going through using the end of this working on masking as evenly as I can, making it really simple and going through. So you're going to go through, you're going to mask off all these spots. For the constellations, I'm only going to mask off the stars. I'm going to leave those lines and put those in as white paint later. So all I'm doing is just putting a little dot of masking fluid where the stars are. And then again, at the end, I'll show you how to put those lines back in with paint once we finish the night sky. All of my masking is on and dry, so now I am ready to do my wet into wet washes. So I'm just using this large, this is a one and three quarter inch Holbein hockey brush, H-A-K-E. It just does a nice, nice uh, even wash for when you're doing large wet into wet applications. Um, but you can use whatever flat brush or round brush, whatever you normally use um, for this. It doesn't matter at all. So I'm just going to evenly wet the whole paper to make sure that I have plenty of time to get all my color in before it starts to dry. So I'm using two colors. I'm using a Prussian blue, which is this nice, bright, brilliant blue. So I'm going to use a couple different techniques while putting this paint on, so I'm not too worried about where certain colors are going because I'm going to just kind of mix it and add more as I go. My whole point in the end is to kind of get it very variations of different colors throughout the whole paper. So I'm not getting too worried. I do have a plastic mat on my table so that while I'm doing this I am not getting paint all over the place. I'm also going to use salt on this so I want to make sure that I have everything else cleared away from the area so that that salt does not get in the rest of my paint or in my main palette because of course you don't want to get those things all in everything. I also have a mix black that I'm using in just a few spots just to kind of get it darker around the edges and really kind of make it glow a little more by adding that much darker area to the edge. So again, that's just a mixed black, or you can use tube black, whatever you normally use. So I've got most of my paint on there, and now I'm going to switch to just a regular round brush to just add a few more colors in a few more spots, kind of mix it up a little bit. The whole point is that I want it to kind of be like a night sky with the constellations. So I'm just putting color wherever I'd like just to kind of get the overall look that you're going for. 
Remember that your paint does dry a little bit lighter. So if you want it dark, just make sure that you get that dark in there right in the beginning. Get a little bit darker in a couple areas. And again, this is all wet into wet. So I'm just letting this all flow into each other, keeping it nice and wet as I mix this all. I want it to all get decently dark. To make sure that when it dries it still has that nice dark area so that those whites really pop and stand out okay so I think that's pretty good I am NOT worried about possible blooms or anything like that because I'm going to use salt and I'm going to purposely make some anyway Let's see make sure that I don't have too much paint puddled up around my masking fluid Okay, that's pretty good and now I'm gonna have all my paints make sure they're away from this so that when I sprinkle my salt I'm not getting anything and contaminating my main palette so I just have my table salt in a bowl and maybe in just a couple areas while it's wet you have to add the salt while it's wet in order to get it to work if you put it in once it's dry it's not going to do anything And I'm just adding some salt to a couple different areas, maybe a little bit more next to some, where some of my constellations are, but just kind of sprinkling it around, not going too nuts. And then I'm also, as it's starting to dry, I'm just gonna give a couple little spritz of water. So just a regular standard water bottle. And I'm just doing a couple little spritz of water on it. And that's going to help just move that paint around a little more, give it that, that look where it's pushing the paint away on purpose. And at this point, I'm just going to let this dry. All of my paint is dry, and I've taken it into the other room away from my art table and brushed off as much of the salt as I could get off so that I don't have excess salt falling all over my paint table and near where I normally paint because it will get into everything. So I want to make sure I get as much of that off as possible so I don't get it into my regular paints. Now I'm just taking a rubber kneaded eraser and I'm going around and pulling the masking fluid off. So when you pull the main parts of the masking fluid off, you kind of want to just be a little careful. Sometimes it can pull up and rip your paper a little bit. So when you're pulling it off, you just want to do it carefully. Now that all of my masking is off, everything is dry, I, you can decide if you like how rough the edges of the letters are if you had some little slips with your masking fluid or areas that it wasn't covered. But if you don't like that it's rough, you can just come back in with the paint colors and touch up some areas where you might have gotten too much masking fluid or if you want to touch up an edge. Because it's such a rough um, image and, and you've done the salt in the background and everything like that, it's pretty forgiving to touch up the edges. Sometimes you can really see where you're touching something up but because this is such a different looking image, it really is pretty easy to touch up those letters if you want to. So at this point, you can go around and just using those same colors that you used in the background, you can go around and touch up those letters if you want to, you don't have to. And the next thing you're gonna do, so I have some titanium white watercolor paint, but you're welcome to use whatever you have that you normally use. Um, you can use gouache, or anything else and you can see you should be able to still see some of your lines if not just go back to the reference photo so that you know that you're putting the lines in the right places and you're just gonna go through and you're gonna put in those constellations if you want to so again you don't have to write in the constellations if you don't want to 
but you can put those lines in on the painting so that you can see those constellations. I am using Holbein Titanium White. It's a nice, super opaque white watercolor, um, but you can also use gouache or whatever else you have that would be white. But you can just add in all those lines. Also, if you didn't mask a certain area and you want it masked, like right here, I seem to have missed the little area where the Y connects to my U. So I can just add that in with my white paint as well. So at this point, you can just go and touch up the different areas and add in the constellations. Now all of my lines are drawn in. I've added a few little dash marks with my white paint to kind of make the stars look like they're glowing. I've also added different little stars all around just so the constellations aren't the only stars. I have my letters all touched up and everything like that. So thanks so much for joining me for this tutorial. I'd love it if you do it. Tag me in your post so I can see what you made of it. Again, if you Google this or look this up, there's many people that have done similar things. This is by no way my own idea. I just made it my own by using my own constellations and text. So you can look up different ideas, different ways to do this online as well. But I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'd love you to tag me so I can see what you came up with. Thanks so much.